So we got an easy go something or other golf cart with six big old eight volt batteries. And we're putting in one lithium 48 volt battery. So there's a lot of things attached here. Each battery is attached to the next one, which makes this whole pack act as one big 48 volt battery. But then you have things like this, which is positive here and the ground there, which means it's only taking these two batteries in series, which means if these, this pack was charged and operating or these batteries were charged and operating, if we measure from here to here, we'd have 16 volts. So this is what um, we'll need to attach our, our 48 volt to 12 volt converter to. Everything else, all this stuff, all the other um, non, you know, big wires that go to the golf cart motor and controller and such, go to the charge port. So this was so the, the charger would know how much voltage it was working with and could operate the lights to tell you what was going on with the battery pack from the EasyGo charger. There is one other wire that goes from the charge port to the controller. And it's a blue wire coming out of the uh, charger and it connects with this connector to an orange wire. And uh, it follows kind of along the seats, under the seats and goes down uh, into the controller and, and kind of the guts of the golf cart uh, down, down into here. The, this needs to have 48 volts or else the cart thinks it's plugged in and won't drive. So this should just be wired to the 48 volt positive of the new battery or else it, it just won't go anywhere. It'll turn on, but it won't drive at all. So now we've got all the cables are disconnected. The nuts are gone, but the cables are still on there. I tried to disturb the cables as little as I could so that uh, they would stay connected. Now I would take each cable, each cable and take each end of it off and deal with one cable at a time. Be careful about touching the ends, obviously, and also be careful whenever you put a tool down because batteries are alive all the time. Even if it's dead, right, it still might have some power in it. Enough to wake you up or enough to hurt you or enough to do something. So be careful and uh, just watch what you're doing with both hands. So the old batteries are out, new batteries are in. I mean, no, that's not right. The old batteries are out. And the new battery's out. And the golf cart, she's just an empty, empty shell. Um, it's hard to believe that these do the same thing. Uh, also, hats off to the former Northern Craft Casket Company for the dolly that they made, because that's a lot on it. But now it's time to put the new one in, and uh, that'll be that. The new one I thought was heavy until I picked up the old ones. Uh, the old ones are, they were, I think, top of the line batteries when we got them and they're, they're gotta be 10 years old. Um, and they've, they've, you know, more than, more than done what was needed from them. Um, and hopefully the new one lasts 10 years too, or more, I don't know. So it doesn't exactly sit in the same footprint as the old batteries. So I got it strapped in there for now, but I think I'm gonna take this all out and make a nice flat floor in there because it's so much smaller. You'll have room to put, it's basically a car trunk in there. Big Agnes could fit in there. Um, I haven't charged it. I haven't done anything to it uh, besides set it in there. And I get, um, it's hard to do with one hand holding the phone. I get 53 volts, um, so that's that. So this is our 48 volt to 12 volt converter. Um, pretty straightforward, it likes 36 or 48 volts. And um, two holes to mount it. I'll probably mount it here, but not till after I build some sort of more permanent floor. 
So I've got this kind of sitting in there, strapped in, zip tied in, just so I can take it for a spin. Make sure it all works before I get it in there nice, build a nice floor for it. This wire here, this orange one, goes to the controller so it knows it's uh, not being charged. The other stuff's all straightforward. It goes to the stock controller. So this is a stock golf cart. I don't expect too much of a performance increase other than those old batteries being kind of tired. And uh, beeper works, forward works. Oh. Oh, it's undoubtedly faster than it used to be. Oh boy, yep, it's definitely, I didn't expect the speed improvement, but you got it. So that's it. A nice, uh, not too bad. This took about an hour and a half, and I took my time. I didn't rush anything. I did it in two separate times, um, just because I don't have all that much free time. But it was pretty easy to do, and hopefully it lasts for a good long time. Thanks for watching.